Good morning friends, Julie Cross here. How are you doing this morning? The sun is just peeking out from behind the clouds and never have I been more grateful for a day and to wake up in the morning. It's just beautiful out there, but I just wanted to stop in and say good morning, say hello, see how everyone is doing. Firstly, just want to acknowledge all of our healthcare professionals who are on the front line. Oh boy, never before have you had to take the main stage quite in, in front of so many people and, and you're being watched so closely and being honoured and so you should be. Thank you for the stage that you have chosen to serve this world from. And boy, oh boy, haven't you been called forth right now. And so suddenly we see so clearly um, how important and how valuable you are in our society, you know, to our teachers, to those people that stock our supermarket shelves every day to make sure that we, you know, have food. You suddenly it all becomes magnified, doesn't it? How important all these people are, our teachers. Um, so thank you for all that you do. Um, you really are in the focus right now and thank you for the stage that you've chosen. And so how are you all doing? Um, you know, I feel a little bit like um, when I came on this morning, I thought, oh, what, what, do you, what do I talk about? You know, everything, there is so much to talk about and it's so big. And, but the only thing I ever wanna talk about is what is in our control. Um, you know, it's, it's no point me sharing an opinion of whether the government is doing enough or how they're doing it. I can only focus on what I can control. There's no point me focusing on what we should have done sooner that we didn't do. Um, that is not in my control. Um, there's no point um, going on about that. What I can only focus on today or any of us can focus on is where we find ourselves right now, the, the situations that we're all in right now. And although, you know, I love this catch cry that everyone's using at the moment, we all are in this together and we are, but of course we're all in it individually together in that, and more so than ever apart from social distancing, is that obviously we land in different places as we go through this. We're at different um, hurt points, different pain points with um, whether we've lost our jobs or not and um, whether we're we're on the brink of not being able to pay our rent or not. So there's different pain points for everyone and I certainly don't pretend to know your pain point or where you're sitting in this. But I do know that we can still only affect where we are right now. We can still only change where we are right now and our reaction to where we are right now. That's all we can work on. That's all we can go from. Um, and so it's a video of hope rather than focusing on the hurt. And it doesn't mean I don't acknowledge the hurt and the pain that we're in. Um, you have to acknowledge the hurt. And I remember, um, you know, when I first lost my husband and I was in, in that, that loss, that pain, and some of us experience some sort of grief at the moment. Um, you know, that pain where people wanted to perhaps tell me a positive story. And I remember thinking, oh, why don't you just fuck off? Um, and how about you just acknowledge my pain? So I'm not, so, I, you know, so I want to acknowledge that some people are in pain. So a video like this is really going to piss them off, you know, to be quite frank, you know, and I made in my last video, it pissed some people off. And that's just because people are coming from a, a place of pain. They're not ready to hear the hope yet. You know, they need to sit a little longer um, with their hurt. Um, and that's fine. There's nothing, you know, there's no wrong in that. Um, but I hope that when you're ready to come through that to the next stage, um, that maybe you save this video and come back to it for when you're ready. Um, because there's a point where we'll have to be ready because we don't want to sit in, in pain all the time. We don't want to sit in the hurt. Um, we don't. We want to be more empowered than that because this is our life we are working on. And I feel like we've all been stripped bare, haven't we? We have been stripped bare. I almost came onto this video nude because I just wanted to, but no, I wouldn't do that to you in the morning. But, but that's what suddenly we feel um, vulnerable because we've been stripped bare. You know, some of us are losing our top job titles, our our thing that we thought, you know, made us come alive, you know, um, for me, and that's going on a stage. And so I find a stage here with you this morning. Um, our jobs, our incomes, you know, our stuff, stuff that, that we um, identified ourselves within. You know, and anyone that's been to my shows know that I've spoken on that so often, that that that, that is the stuff out here, but we've been forced to come back to the foundation. And that is our relationship with ourselves. We've been forced um, by this situation to sit down with ourselves and get to know ourselves again, get to know who we are um, without all of that. Who are we when we're, we're, we're in this situation where suddenly uh, we don't have anywhere to go or we're not allowed to go there and do that and, and be who we thought we were. Um, and so it's confronting. Um, it's, it is, it's overwhelming for some people. For some people to even sit in their own company um, is overwhelming. So 
we're here though, so where do we start when, when we're here? We go, go back to the foundation because that's all we can go. You know, we have built some very um, shaky structures, um, strong structures on shaky foundations. And the foundation is again, our relationship with ourselves. And we've been given an, uh, an amazing opportunity to go back and work on, if, if you're ready to see that, our relationship with ourselves and the way that we're reacting to these situations and our ability um, to go back within. You know, we can't travel far and wide. So we've got to travel deep within. We've got to go back to that place back to the place of this relationship with ourselves because we are fighting at the moment for the most important thing. And that is our health. That is to keep alive. And that is the government in there fighting for us to stay alive. And that, that's how you can't get any more back to the foundation than that. Um, that, that uh, this is what we see happens, that economically, I know we're fighting for our livelihoods, but, but we're, we're fighting for our lives right now. And there's nothing more important than that, because without that, what else do we have? You know, we have been suffering from affluenza for some time now, and we've been saying that in society for some time, that perhaps we've, we've um, over-identified in the accumulation of stuff of being who we are. Now, I know we need a strong, healthy economy, but there is no economy without people. You know, and so it comes back to that. So how is that relationship with you? Because you are worth fighting for. You are worth staying well for. You are worth isolating for and following the rules for. And yet some of us out there haven't been doing that like it didn't matter. You matter. So start back there of knowing that you matter that much. This is a wonderful time to get to know ourselves again, um, you know, and work on that relationship, our relationship with our bodies of how we feel about that, because suddenly um, this regrowth is going to come marching through. Um, suddenly, who are we without being able to do all of that? So it's a good time to go back to the beginning. It's a good time for that. It's a good time to focus on the hope and not the hurt when you're ready to be able to do that because there's power in being able to do that. Um, you know, so we can see this as a work. It is a workout. It's a big workout. It's a, it's a big physical, emo, uh, uh, emotional, spiritual um, workout for us. But um, we've got this. We are, we are stronger than we know. Um, and, you know, you only have to just sit for a minute and I think about what's happening in India right now. And if you allow yourself to go there and make that comparison, you will instantly feel a little better about where we are at here. Um, and suddenly, isn't it the smallest of things? You know, you think about those people in isolation. It will be that morning walk. You know, we are being called on again to be grateful for the smallest of things in life. Um, there is happiness and there is power in that. That it becomes a strong foundation for us to, to, to come back from, you know. So let us go back to working that. You are these amazing little miracles that came into this world and we looked at you and we were in awe. You are divine. You are amazing. You have unlimited potential you have got the res a resilience inside of you that um, for some of us hasn't even been woken up yet and it's about to be woken up so know for sure that you we can do this we can get through this and we're back to the basics of knowing that we are worth fighting for we are worth looking after ourselves for so let us go back to that and celebrate that and get that right get that relationship with ourselves let's get back to the basics of appreciating um, time alone again and being able to sit and be able to do that to, to grab that thinking and focus on those positive things and and to start that gratitude journal that you've been meaning to start um, to do all of those things you know this is the gift of, of of time that we suddenly have time with ourselves so um, let's go back to that and start there I mean what other choice do we have so we allow ourselves our sadness we allow ourselves our grief and then let us um, remind ourselves that we have got this let, let us remind ourselves that we are worth fighting for you go into the mirror every morning like, good morning baby <laughs> And let us start from there, remembering the miracles that we are. And we're stumbling at the moment. We're stumbling. But when you learned to walk, you got up, you stumbled, you fell, it hurt. But you got back up again like you knew how to do. Because miracles always knew how to get back up when they were knocked down. So um, let us do that. Let us do it together. Let us celebrate ourselves. And um, yeah, I read a quote the other day, which I thought was um, wonderful. That is, uh, 
you know, um, that we're, our world is coming together as we're forced to stay apart. And, um, and I thought that was a great quote. So, um, so we're here with you. We're along this journey. We are all in this together. So um, let us keep on. The next time I meet, I want to talk about some of that, those, those big weights that we are lifting and, and um, the energy around that. Again, I want to focus on that because the energy is just so important right now that you maintain your high energy. Our emotional and mental health is going to be in focus more than ever right now. And um, we've got this. We've got this. So I'm with you every step of the way. So let us keep on together. Um, big love and hugs to you all as you go out throughout your days. Um, look at that beautiful sunrise that's out there this morning. Uh, makes you want to drop to your knees in gratitude. Thank you all for being on the journey with me. I love my tribe. I love my tribe. I'll talk to you soon. My sparkle is alive. See you soon.